in the morning of January 16, 1991, bombs began to fall on the people of Iraq. Roads like this one became targets of the Allied attack, and dozens of doctors and truck drivers died trying to take supplies from Jordan to the besieged city of Baghdad. A year later, the U.S. women's organization Madre traveled these very same roads, also taking supplies to Baghdad. The bombing of Iraq had ended, but international sanctions against the country had not. In coalition with the General Federation of Jordanian Women, Madre's emergency milk and medicine campaign delivered more than 10 tons of milk and medicine to children in two Iraqi hospitals and called for the lifting of sanctions. This is the story of that journey. During the war and after the war, they had a feeling that all the Americans against them. And now they, they, they discovered that there are some Americans who are with them. It's a very important part of Madre's work in general to work with women uh, that come from the countries in which we choose to do our work. The General Federation of Jordanian Women is an umbrella organization. It includes about 52 women's organizations in Jordan. All of the laws that we've had historically say that you cannot keep essential items such as food, clothing, and shelter uh, from human beings, and that's exactly what this embargo is doing. We are cutting off the Iraqi people all around, not only from getting items from the outside, but I learned on this trip we're also preventing the Iraqi people from uh, being able to grow all of the food that they need. And perhaps the thing that capsulized it all was as we were leaving our stop where we had delivered the milk and the medicine uh, to the children at one hospital to see a mother who had just walked out of that hospital whose child had just died. And I thought, we didn't make it to help this mother. But certainly when we go back to the United States, we have an obligation to try to do all that we can so that other mothers won't suffer the same pain that that mother suffered who might have had her child al alive if there had been no embargo against them. When the U.S. and their allies were bombing Iraq, there was debate about whether the war was targeting civilians. There is no doubt now that international sanctions are killing Iraqi people, women, children, and men who have little or no say in the policies of their government. Although all Iraqi troops have long since left Kuwait, sanctions against Iraq continue, and so does Madre's work in the region. These sanctions are a continued war, and we as women understand that that is not acceptable. If there are political problems between governments, they must be solved by negotiations. They cannot be solved by starving a, a population of 18 million people. It is not acceptable to starve children. It seems to me one of the things Madre has been willing to do that's been exceptional has been to combine the political message lift the sanctions, lift the embargo, with the humanitarian um, delivery. And I've liked the uh, fact that Madre, Madre did that in Central America, and uh, I think that it's uh, an important step to be looking at the places in the Middle East where we in the United States have a really active role in creating the destruction to boldly go in and make woman-to-woman -woman ties that can truly help you to judge, uh, to judge the effectiveness and also to actually make the deliveries of goods. <laughs>